So you need to have a method to identify the outliers. So we'll talk about how to identify outliers and what kind of corrections you need to make. So outlier identification process is a statistical process. Okay, it's a statistical process. So defining an outlier is an extreme observation, right? It's an extreme observation that is not expected to repeat in the future, and that's what we know. There are some extreme observations that can actually repeat in the future. And maybe they have repeated in the past, right? You may have had an outrageous promotion, you know, every April, right? On April Fool's Day, you have an outrageous promotion that says, buy one, get 10 free, <laughs> right? So sales for April goes to the roof, right? And that happens every April. So your sales is now 10 times the average monthly sales in April alone. So it is an extraordinary observation, extreme observation, but it repeats every year, so it's really not an outlier. It is an outlier, it's extraordinary, but you want to forecast to include that observation because you are forecasting again, buy one, get 10 free, next day, right? Until it causes financial pains, you are offering this promotion again and again, right? But on the other hand, if it's a mistake, Buy one, get one free, somebody typed an extra zero, buy one, get them free, they were fired, it's an outlier. Right? Happened once, it was a mistake. Then you need to identify that because it's extraordinary volume, happened by mistake. It's not going to repeat again. I need to identify it, exclude. Right? So basically, if you leave the outlier in there, what will happen? The system may see, <coughs> there is no confirmation here. But the statistical modeling engine may say, hey, you know, I do see a tip. So maybe, maybe, I need to think about this as some type of a spike that may happen. But not all the way, right? So the system may produce a forecast that looks like this. Right? And that's not what you want. So you really say, hey, you know, I need, I need to correct this outline. If I correct this outline and put the number back somewhere here in this region, right, then I get a forecast that's a little bit better because it just produces a seasonal dip, but not an extreme you know, dip. So that's what we want to know. And we want to see how we can identify this outlier. Is there a method to outlier, identify outliers? Can we just build some type of a threshold or a confidence band around data? And then say, hey, this is my average data. If it exceeds plus or minus 25%, plus or minus 30%, then I can see it's an outlier. So I won't identify that. Right? So there is a method for it. Right? There are many methods. right? But we can't just use um, a straight average. Right? Straight average is a simplistic method. Right? An average is, what is an average? How does an average look like? Uh, Julie yeah. had the right answer. Yeah, Flat. All the data. You take all the data, an average is a straight line. Basically, if your forecast is an average, what are you saying? You're saying it's a constant straight line, right? No change, right? Months may come, months may go. Forecast is always a straight line. It's just constant demand. Do we have products like that? I think we do. There are some products that are pretty steady stream, right? Cash cows, right? That actually give you money. They spin in money every time, right? You don't have to promote them either. But then you promote or no promotion, there is always demand for those products. Those are great. <coughs> if you are demand planning for such products, great, power to you, right? <laughs> you'll be done with your job at 2 o'clock and you'll be in the golf course at 3 o'clock. Right? Straight line demand patterns, right? So anyway, so you establish a statistical threshold and then look at the data, historical data, and say, is this normal or extreme? Right? And then say if it is extreme, is this a data system error or legitimate data? Right, that's something that you want to check. Maybe the systems group had some issue. Maybe some disk did not spin overnight and they did not post the data, it became zero. So you want to check that and fix the system issue. If it's a system issue, hopefully it's not. So if not, if it's legitimate data, then you do have to make a check. So what is happening here? You know, is it repeatable, non-repeatable? Meaning it is some type of a promotion or extraordinary event of some sort that may happen in the future or it doesn't happen in the future. 
So how would you make this investigation? How would you make this investigation? Who would you talk to? To find out if, a, if an extreme observation is repeatable or non-repeatable, who would we talk to? Sales, exactly. I'll go to sales or marketing, right? I'll talk to sales and talk to the specific customer and then say, hey, is this repeatable? You know, what, why are we doing this? Is this a promotion that you gave them and you think it's going to happen? And the salesperson may say, yes, it's going to happen. I'm just waiting for approval for more funding. <laughs> so it may not happen next April, it may happen next March or next May, right? There's going to be a little bit of delay, but it's going to happen. Right? So. Confirm if it's a promotion or otherwise. Right? It could be non-repeatable because that one particular month last time, this particular category, your competitor had a huge logistics issue. They just implemented the SAP and they didn't know where the inventory was. So they couldn't sell anything. <laughs> <laughs> there was a little bit of a hiccup, right? Not necessarily SAP, anything. Some ERP system, right? <laughs> they had a little bit of a hiccup, and they didn't know where the inventory was. They couldn't ship. All orders were cut. Boom! Suddenly, <laughs> the demand for your product spiked up. Went through the roof. So if that happens, then obviously, if you want to know whether it's repeatable or not, who should you call? The IT group of the competitor, right? <laughs> they won't tell you that. <laughs> so, so in that case, obviously, it's not repeatable. Right? They're going to wake up, they're going to record. This is an extraordinary thing. Like FedEx and UPS, they're competitors. Right? I used to work at FedEx actually a while ago. So they are competitors. But during holiday season, in FedEx, we pray that UPS doesn't have any problems. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Because if UPS cannot do it, and if you want to grab share from them over time, Right? We don't want to go grab share from them overnight. <laughs> right? Because it's, it'll be a very tense holiday season if UPS has any problems. So, so basically you just say it's non-repeatable, and then we go, okay? So if that's the case, it's an outlet. 